I'm Frances White, and I am Dean of the Gallatin School of Individualized Study at NYU. Paris is Burning as um, an exploitive film. A lot of my students are very young, and so they haven't had many experiences, and they're just figuring things out. So ballroom culture looks very different to them, and sometimes in some ways it frightens them. So it made people feel like, Ugh, this is terrible life, this is abnormal, this is something horrible, I can't believe that uh, people do this. I worked with Jenny Livingston fervently, you know, making them comfortable doing a lot of different things when they were filming um, Paris is Burning and um, she came and she filmed me, but she wanted to know who the thieves were. She was an all-white crew and she was coming to Harlem on an adventure like that and she was well received. People respected her and liked her and treated her well. In the brochure, Paris was burning was advertised, a film about prostitutes, welfare recipients, and messengers. That's what was actually wrote up in the brochure advertising Paris is Burning, and it was by Living Jenny Livingston. That's when I, was, I, I really had a thing against her. I felt that she took advantage of all of us. All of us, you know? But I didn't benefit nothing out of it. How do you explain how other people have then seen Paris is Burning as because something Because they're looking good. outside in, and anything that gay people do, first of all, is a bunch of entertainment. Paris is Burning is like their, their motto or something. They don't know anything about the gay community or ball scene. So how do you feel about Paris is Burning? <laughs> it's a terrible movie. I don't understand what people think is so great. I think you, Wolfgang, are giving us the opportunity to speak out, to talk more about what the kids did then, what are they doing now, and what we could give the gay community and the straight community, you know, for them to see something different that Jenny Livingston did not show. I think they got lost a little bit in the whole, my house is fabric than yours, and it became a thing where you would see, you know, a latex chopping someone, and it's like, wait a minute, aren't you here to save the day? <laughs> and you're trying to, you know? I don't know, that's just my opinion again. No, unfortunately, transgenders don't come together. They are each other's worst enemy. They will not fight for what they want. They will not make an effort to do so. And this is because they are weak and they're afraid. They've been beaten and tormented and they understand the fact that they're expendable and they understand that they're all alone. So they take their frustrations out on each other and they stay in a clique amongst themselves, not going anywhere but in that one circle for the rest of their lives. And that saddens me. It's real fucked up. How can you be helped if you have no indication of helping yourselves? 